need a weapon. Oh. Oh. I need a weapon. Sanjay. Oh. How's it? Hey, loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii channel. It's counting. It's counting down. It's December 29th. Not much left this evening. Out with the old. Um. Yeah. Out with the old. That's the theme of Toastmasters meeting today, which is going to start. Very soon, and they made me postmaster of the day, so I gotta be there early. It's kind of like being the MC of the meeting. That's what postmaster of the day is. Then we have a couple speeches. A couple people evaluate the speeches, and then we have this little thing called table topics. You get a question, and. You're supposed to spontaneously tell your answer to the question within two minutes and then click and then we'll count to see if you want um, ah, uh, in this Toastmaster stuff. <laughs> Just to show you where my day's going, I have to wake up five o'clock in the morning. Just squeeze in our little mongoose snacks, all right, thing. Yeah, I've been checking out some of that other channel, I've been checking out Warlike Wrath again and that mystery of the M cave eh, maybe talk about that some more but you know what I forgot to tell you about this story a story about when a friend of mine who's gonna come in here back to well he's gonna visit Hawaii with his bud in early January he's gonna come here in early January I used to live here. He used to live here a long time. Is there's a very good old friend. So, whenever he pops in Hawaii, and I'm like, well, let's go do something. So last time, well, a while back, I saw something in the paper. It was open house to a a USS Navy ship. It was a USS Juno, actually, and it's an amphibious. You, just, you can look it up, Juno, like in Alaska, USS. It's an amphibious craft. So helicopters can land on it and all kinds of stuff. The back can open up and hey, divers come out and little submarines and I don't know, all kinds of stuff. And we get on board because it's open to the public, right? So we're going around the ship, right? And they're telling us all kinds of stuff. And over here, nuclear this and nuclear that. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I kind of tour. I was thinking, thinking, you're supposed to be telling us all this stuff, right? Like, oh my gosh. And when you go on board, there's some officer in all navy whites. You know, it's like, I'm Admiral Nelson, or whatever. I welcome you to aboard, 20 to a group. And he's like, Admiral guys are like, like they're in their 20s. I'm like, like oh my God, people way back when they were younger than me. So anyways, I was joking around with my friend and I said, here we are aboard the Nautilus, the good ship Nautilus, which is a nuclear-powered craft, and if it wasn't for man's inhumanity to man, I wouldn't have to wreak vengeance on the warmonger. It was like doing the Captain Nemo impression via James Mason and trying to make my friend crack up, and we're climbing ladders and going through these little portholes, and <laughs> you walk inside, you look down, there's people down below deck playing chess and it's like oh don't fall through but that's not the point of the story the point of the story is this this is kind of the funny part he says okay we're going this way so it's like okay now we're gonna head that way going into the mess hall the cafeteria mess hall now it's kind of like these porthole doors so kind of what your head pipes and everything and kind of step over and go I, I was in the back so now I'm in the front so I'm the first one going through the porthole door now mind you this whole time there was this guy just in all white this old man right behind Chip and I and I was like going just get a load of the creep 
All right, old man. A little close there, huh? Okay. Okay, a little close there, Rear Admiral. A creepy old man. I was a little like that. But when we walk through this mess hall, we're going into the mess hall, and there's like these sailors and they're... Like some of them were still on board. Most of them were on leave on the... <laughs> in Waikiki. But some were... <laughs> and they're hunched over like they're eating their own guts. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. That's the first thing I noticed. Because then they looked like that. Like everyone's like, someone walks in the door. I'm like, oh, ho, 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 when I walked in the door. Then I heard the, the little whistle, the classic whistle. And every single one of these guys that's hunched got up like this. And it was like, salute. Like, like I don't know if they're saluting or just at attention. It all got up and was at tight attention. This is right when I stepped in the door. I'm like, what the hell? The old man behind me in all white was a retired admiral. I don't know how rear he was, but <laughs> he was in some type of high rank guy retired. So he was right behind me. So they all like looked at me. They were looking at that guy. But it just, it just like turned up. I was like, dude, it's like, focus that guy. What did I do? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, and that's the story. Anyways, ha ha ha. Today in the news is a bunch of the same old, same old. Oh, well, first I want to show you this. Hey, party for duty. Okay, trooper. Oh, Sudoku. Yes, today's. I still don't have my. Nor do I have my. No, I don't have that. Where's my. Uh, anyways, we're lacking lights here today. That's right. Charged up that one. There we go. Limited. Hmm. Limited resources. Hmm. No. Let me try one of those. Thank you for your patience. Yes, I don't know. What's this pill? Somebody, like, they got this pill going on as a treatment for COVID. Look, um, get the shot. Wear a mask. What the hell? You gotta wait till after you get it. There are people asking questions. Oh, you know what? Since it's mild, you don't, it's okay if I catch it and then, um, did I get antibodies that way? What are you afraid of the shot? The shot don't even hurt. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you. Just everybody behind you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll tell you at the end the surprise. That's, that's the technique people use in the videos. Well, you want to watch them. You want to get them to watch all the way through. So tell them you'll tell them what they end. Okay, I'll tell you at the end. Okay, this is the beginning. This is limited treatments. There's new options promised in helping newly infected. But the short supply and the variant Omicron is so everywhere. It's over with. It's game over. That's all there is to it. It's like... Alien invasion, invasion from Mars, all those science fiction scary stories, it's all come true via a little virus bug that just kicked our ass, and we're heading for human extinction! Maybe not. I doubt it. They need us to be hosts. <laughs> Why losing irreplaceable short offender? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's interesting, I suppose, to somebody else. And here on the back burner, the Board of Water Supply louds ruling to drain fuel tanks. Okay, so the Board of Water Supply would have been telling you, I have met with these guys, they're great. They're fantastic, they're really cool people and all that. I've met with them in person, and they really are cool. Uh, but they don't have any legal teeth, right? They don't have the legal, uh, like uh, Stephen Legal. They don't got the teeth to do something. So you can go, uh, they can say, well, we can recommend you don't poison all of our water so we all die because we don't have water to drink. We can recommend that. <laughs> Clean water is good for your health. The Board of Water Supply Tuesday welcomed the recommendation of the S Department of Health, which does have some teeth. 
in what people can and can't institutions can and cannot do. Hearing officer the, uh, and the Navy was battling this must comply with an emergency task ordered empty through those things which is being blamed blah 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 blah. Hearings officer David Day also serves as a state deputy issued proposal for or Monday. So this is drain all the tanks. This is the next big step. Take all the fuel out of the tanks so it doesn't have the possibility to leak. So since it's on, only the Department of Health, the Navy is saying, well, you know what? I'm, so it took them like days, all hands on deck response. Oh, isn't that cute? It's a pun. Rear Admiral. To safely manage the facility, the decision made to provide clear, well-reasoned assessment of the damage. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Captain. It's getting late. Late in the day. It's going to be 11. But they, but they, this. So, I guess. Okay. The Board of Water Supply louds. Yay. They got to go like that on the sideline. Yay. To cheerlead. Yay. That's a good thing. Ruling to drain the fuel tanks. Good boy. <laughs> That's what the Board of Water Supply is doing. Good boy, I think you're doing something correct. God, oh, God help us. Jesus, you're coming back, I know it. Jesus, we're waiting for you, Jesus. There's a second coming, we're waiting for you, Jesus. He's coming in the clouds, right? So I'm going to be looking at the clouds, waiting for you. But it's cloudy out right now. Outbreak delays, name of ship. He's got... This is Haley. Oh, 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 maybe they'll have another open house. Oh no. Hey Chip, man, you wanna go to open house? Ah, uh, FAA delays review. Okay, look, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know, I can't cover everything. You get them though. So they gotta drain the tanks, at least they're ordered to. Now in the news of sports, we got the warrior exodus continues. Let my people go. He said to Moses said to the Pharaoh, Exodus continues. Well, oh, is starting to even the game. What happens is, I don't know. I don't, I don't. There's something about the coach, like he's a toughy, you know. I don't know if that's good or bad, honestly. But um, they're just not having a good season, so the players are like going, "I'm gonna play for somebody else. I want to play for this." So they keep losing people. And that's basically what it is. So they got these guys in uh, gray, like, I'm sorry, you're not going to be there. So <laughs> Colt, <laughs> Colt back there, right? Okay. Oh, and meanwhile, uh, other college ball, you get some stuff going on. I don't know. I didn't see this game. That's a pretty good mid pass. Looks like he's, I don't know, looks kind of a cash. What if these guys are standing around going, are you going to pass or what? <laughs> no one's, no one's going to sack this fool. Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> On with it now. Um, oh, want to go that way and that way? Let's see what little letter to the editor. Maybe one. Oh, 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 oh. is that our? Oh, that's the insight one. Soup kitchen and now soup kitchen. Oh, the worker's gone. Oh, cause there's no no feed the poor. Cause no more soup kitchen guy. Cause he got COVID. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, political part. Hey, it's a political cartoon. They're never funny. They're like, yeah, man. You know a political cartoon's funny when you sit there and you go, yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> that's, you're laughing. Okay, let's look at the menu. Disappointment over Lex. There's nothing here. Despite Navy, again, hospitalizations like the cases are true. Are true metrics. I think I'm home after a dream vacation. Makes sense to move this. All right, you know what? Let's just, whatever. It's going to be a short pre-appropriate battle reveal ugly truth I'll pull down my pants I'll reveal some ugly truth you don't know what that looks like until after this post-op stitches come out <laughs> you're so ugly that's ugly truth oh my gosh I gotta watch out my health uh, hospitalization not cases are true metrics oh, of course they are Unlike the situation in 2020, current data indicates that full vaccination and boosters have reduced the impact of the present COVID-19 variant to the equivalent of the common cold. As Harvard's Dr. Joseph Allen recently said, 
Common sense, then, suggests that testing of these individuals, if asymptomatic, is not important. This approach should especially be applied to young, healthy athletes mm, with regard to cancellations of athletic events and inappropriate protocols. In general, the present metric and response should not be on the number of positive tests, but on the hospitalizations. Peter Cardwell, MD, Aleva. Also football fan, right? <laughs> Don't test them and then cancel the game. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Just watch out about the people clogging the hospitals. All right. One more. I get one more. Hawaii became home after dream vacation. We are all back in New Jersey, relaxed. Even though we're not from the Jersey. Okay. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, <coughs> we arrived back in New Jersey relaxed and happy. We stepped out of Newark Airport and it was gloomy, rainy, and cold. <coughs> Pardon me. Remembering the beauty of the islands and the warmth received from the people. Oh, yes, they're so warm. Wasn't forgotten, <laughs> so we moved there. Welcome home. <coughs> oh. It's my dip. Mm. Mm. Uh, I get so excited, my throat chokes up. I walked on the beach yesterday under sunny skies. The sand was so smooth. It looked like painted onto the shore. COVID-19 has brought us tough times. It is difficult to... <laughs> difficult to... Oh, everything's... Hang in there! It's difficult to switch out the feeling of feeling overwhelmed. As we go through this together, it is better to be in a beautiful place like Hawaii, or now I say Hawaii, where the outdoors are at our fingertips all year round. We are of many different colors and go to the many different houses of worship. Faith is common denominator here. Yeah. Perhaps the Honolulu Saw advertiser will bring back the religion slash faith page. The need is great to know how everyone is praying on their own way. Sandra Z. Armstrong Kailua. Sorry, Sandra, he had to receive the wrath of me. <laughs> kind of kind of taunting a certain individual's way of narration. Where every last word is emphasized with a duh. It's like it's like a Eeyore, the, Eeyore the donkey. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. At the end of the sentence. Anyways, don't watch out for the big events. Mask is real good. Boost, I think, is better. But eh, whatever. Aloha. Aloha. Uh oh. I took the wrong one. I can switch out this thing. 